Welcome to Common Man Cocktails. I'm your host, Derek Shore, my co-host, Doug Peterson, and today, this is Doug's type of cocktail. Yeah. Because I hate this stuff. See how I did the filter? No, I, yeah, I like that. But look! Notice I, how I said no and then followed it up directly with yes. <laughs> That's great. I know. <laughs> I was paying attention to. Okay. Double straining. That's nice. Are you excited? No ice shards for you today. Can't we just stir it? Yeah, but instead just in case there's no, there's no. Instead of <laughs> it, just stir it. No, 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 no. We're gonna do all that. You're gonna stir it. There's no shaking. Okay. But okay. in case anything shards off, yeah. we're doing it the proper way, which okay. I get enough criticism about. Oh, my was land on my laptop. Um, because people are like, oh my god. Oh, we could have put that. We could pour it right in here because we don't need the side, right? Nope. So we'll use that for the, uh, the vermouth. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna build this sucker. In this glass, we're gonna stir it. It's a dry martini. It's classic. If you don't do it right, people start to bitch. And so do it right. I don't want any of that stuff today. Okay. So what we're gonna do? I've already got that chilling up. Yep. But you want it tomorrow. What? You want it tomorrow? You said you didn't want it today. Oh, what? Uh, yeah, tomorrow. Right. I have no problem with tomorrow. What you are you using? Oh, I don't have one. What do you want to use? <laughs> oh, you know. One what of those you, back there. What would you like? Oxley? Uh, no. Is this your favorite? You call it an audible now? Is yeah, this, this is an audible. What you, okay. Well, because I was going to ask you before the show what gin you wanted to use, and then we got talking about who knows what. So, what do you want to use? What would You, you got Oxley and Greensmiths. You got Bombay. But now you've had Bombay as a dry martini before. Yeah, so, yeah. is that? We got Martin Miller. Um... I probably would shy away from standing guard for this one. I would uh, totally go with um, the gin I like. <laughs> do you like good. that one? Oxley's okay. Like the Oxley? Yeah. Do you, uh, would you prefer something different? No. We have go with a, a plethora <laughs> yeah. of gins behind me. <laughs> no, because the one that I not had, I like is on more selection. American. Yeah, she, she's probably thinking New not. Amsterdam. Yeah, New Amsterdam. So we're gonna do our our dry shade or our, our rinse, and the way we're gonna do that is this. Oh, by the way, fresh. Yep. Because that's the other thing you want to remember is that fortified wine doesn't actually last forever once it's opened. No, it definitely has a shelf life. And in order to make this as Isn't pristine, it just like just a few weeks. I don't really I know. know. I leave mine for Brad. Brad from YouTube knows. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. He, he, know. He, I know he commented. Getty O five. How long does an open vermouth last? Because. I let mine last forever. <laughs> you let everything last forever. I do. Everything is all. Everything Wait, is immortal. Who would use that much vermouth? Nobody. I mean, every, back in um, the day, I think they now, did. Now, yeah. A bar. Right, because that's all they had. Right. So I'm going to do. What am I going to do? I'm going to do a half ounce. You think that's a good lot enough? Of yeah. Yeah, because I'm going to basically have this, and we're going to need to figure out how to use all that vermouth. We're going to pour it over the ice. Yeah. Now we're going to stir it a little bit. Yeah. Can't really get my spoon in there though. No. There we go. Oh, look at that. Yeah. You can even see it swirling along the edges. I know, I like it. Oh, it's hot. It is hot. So now we're going to get rid of it. Okay. So we bought this bottle in order to rinse down ice. Yeah. And the goal here is to have a hint. Why do I have a shot glass here? A hint of dryness, but I'm not a huge fan of vermouth. It could be way overdone. Yep. But you still need your fresh vermouth. Yep. You still need some gin. We're going to do what? Two ounces, two and a half ounces? Two, two and a half. Two and a half. Solid three ounce, three ounce cocktail. Yeah. Nice. Two. Ready? Yes. Uh, and a half. That's like not, not exactly three. Right. And we're using Oxley. This is a higher end gin, so if you're a big Tangeray fan, you could probably use your Tang if you want to. But if you're in some piney gin. Yeah. So we're gonna give this, let's say, 16 to 18 turns. Let's say. Are you counting? I started yeah. two and then I stopped. I'm done. I'll go back a couple on this direction. You I want... literally lost count. <laughs> <laughs> the goal is you really want it to be. Ah, uh, nice and cold, because this drink is like all about that chill. Do Give me that. Know. We could dump that right over this ice, because it's just going to keep the ice longer. Okay. Yeah, I'm mixing it in there. Boom! Frosty beverage! I like it. Frosty beverage! Now, oh, do you want to set up our... How do you do your garnish? Do you do one, two, I mean, one or three? 
I like three. I like a lot of olives. Okay. You know, it's like a snack with my cocktail. All right. Yeah. That's fair. Yeah. This is really boring looking. Look at that. You're a master. <laughs> master. So you have you have these things that have jalapenos poking out of them. Or Enjoy. whatever that is. Oh my gosh, you're gonna eat that raw? <laughs> yeah, I gotta cook I'm gonna it first. Cook it first. <laughs> uh. Oh, it smells like gin. Give this a try. It's good. Now you're gonna taint your palate. Or you're preparing it for a sled of awesome right into your mouth. A sled? Yeah. It's like, you know those really nice sleds, those like the plastic ones that sled really fast in the ice yeah. on the snow when they get that nice ice coating on the snow? That's the stuff right there. You wanna be able to slide really quick. What do you think? It's good. You That's know. Good gin. That's good gin for a martini. Straight up. Damn straight! This drink actually makes me, I could drink this. I if The thing is, if I ordered it, I need to have that. Yeah. Right? So if I go to the, if you if you go, this is the best martini dry you've ever had. And by the way, not even that dry. Mm. That's why I like it. I don't like the fortified wine aftertaste. None of that really comes in here. Mm -mm. There's a slight dryness, but you don't get the dryness of wine. Mm. It's it's like a just a slightly off dry uh, flavor on top of a really crisp, clean, clear gin without too, too much juniper attack. You just want a little extra dry? I just wanted to, to qualify taste the vermouth. And see this, is, this is actually really good. Is it's it? It's decent. Decent vermouth. Gallo? How much did you pay for that? I don't know. It's like four bucks. Huh. Cheaper than that. That's like 50. So the problem is if you want to reproduce this and you go to a bar, you have no idea if you're going to get that unless they have it. <clears throat> so you have to either experiment with this. I've been to a lot of bars and I've never seen Oxley in a bar before. No. Unless you go to like it's really a higher. It's kind of new too, isn't it? Yeah, it's, it's new. Mm. Uh, so, so I think you want to test it with the best gin you have, and then that is that is your baseline. And then if you go to a bar and you don't get that flavor, then they did it wrong. Yep. Because because I don't like gin that much, and this is pretty good. Yeah. It really is good. You should actually here eat one of those. Oh my god, I hate and those. And then, do you really? Yeah. Hey, what's vermouth? Fortified wine. Fortified wine. Uh, it's like a it's like a non sweet or uh, it's like. A port would be more of your sweet sherry, like crazy. Um, is that an after dinner drink? I guess. Where this is kind of the opposite. It's a super dry wine, but I don't think it really. They don't call it. They don't really. They don't. It's not marketed as a wine. You don't go to the store and buy this instead of champagne. Vermouth is really, I think, only used for cocktails. So um, you think that it may be cooking. The half ounce of vermouth like really takes the edge off the gin. That between that and the the amount of chilling that went into the preparation really just yeah, because you got water and softened it right. a lot for it's, you. You've got yeah, yeah. you've got the wa you've got the water and that you and that's the other thing. And then if you freeze this right, it's not going to dilute as much, so it might get a little different taste. Mm. Not that it's going to freeze, but it's going to get super cold. Mm -hmm. If it gets super cold, the ice isn't going to melt as quick. Because you do that 16, 18 stirs. Yeah. You're the that's so cold it's not gonna dilute the ice so you're not gonna get as much water. I kind of like the extra water in the drink because it adds a lot more aroma and it's aroma is half that drink. Yeah. Because I mean look, there's not much else to do it. No. But it's crisp, clean, clear, easy to make. Good cocktail. Classic. Good cocktail. Done. The other alternative for those that don't like olives, if I were to make it, it would be with the lemon slice. You oh, you like lemon. with the twist? Yeah. yeah, I like lemon in general. Not a big fan, but you know, cause gin kind of pairs with more of a salty. Uh, savory type thing, mm -hmm. I think that makes more sense to use yeah. those olives. Question of the day! What time do you go to bed? Really? Or, what? <laughs> <laughs> or what's Doug's favorite gin? Okay, uh, first question, what time do you go to bed? And so, I had criticisms like, oh, you must be out of questions. No, these are what people are asking me. <laughs> I, for me, good question. Really? Well, what's let's, your favorite let's, kind of fish? Lame. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, I did see that. Um, I would say, what time do I go to bed? Between one thirty. Last time I think of a question. I, oh, was that yours? Yeah. <laughs> I thought it was a viewer. No. Oh, um, somebody's like shark. Um, I think one thirty to two, ish, weekend yeah. sometimes two thirty. What time do you go to bed? Ten. I, you know, honestly, I would like to go to bed at 10, but my body shuts down like around 
midnight-ish. Yeah, see, I don't, I can't really fall asleep very easy, so I'm usually, I, I can, if I start the bedtime ritual, if I go to bed at like 10, I'll just sit and stare at the wall until like one. Yeah. So I'm like, why am I doing that when I can go downstairs and watch Pawn Stars? <laughs> You know, it's or or uh, that what's the show with the big questions, people. <laughs> Everything's occur at well, night. Well, it's like you got to go through Colbert, and you got to go through the Daily Show to get your political view. Yeah. Then you got to go through like Tosh Point oh, maybe Dexter. You know, whatever's on the DVR, and then <laughs> kind of wind down a little bit and read a little, and then go to bed. So, what time do you go to bed? <laughs> Lastly, question of the day: What's Doug's <laughs> What's Doug's favorite tin? No, that's not really you a good guess. question. <laughs> uh, no, but maybe he can answer. Hit Bombay. I can answer. Yeah. It's Bombay. Yeah. There you go. That's a go to. It's but easy. Everybody has it. The thing is, there's a difference between what's your favorite gin, I think, and or any spirit. What's your favorite versus um, what's the best that you've ever had? Like yeah. this is probably one of the best, but I can't count it as the one I might go to because you can't go to anywhere else and get it. Right. Unless you buy it. And for homemakers that are making this stuff at home, it's, it makes it a lot easier. You can go seek that out, buy it online, whatever, and you have it and you can call it. But if you're going to a bar, Bombay is probably where you're going to go. Yeah. Standard. Uh, but of the, the Green Hook Gin Smiths. Gin Smiths. That's his new favorite. That's good. I don't yeah. know where you're going to get that. but I'm I don't that. know either. Uh, we got to look around. Sure. So Google it. Every Friday. Google it and find it on our show. Every Friday. Yeah. yeah. Or so there you go. Tuesday. Or Tuesday. Let's wrap it up. Wrapping Thanks. it up. Holy crap. Everydaydrinks.com. <laughs> We're teaching you how to drink. I love it when I'm in 3D. Sweet. Oh! This is, this is my favorite time to look at my hand. <laughs> <laughs> What's wrong? Uh, uh, I put my 3D off. glasses on. Oh, really? That's yeah, great. it means I can see. <laughs> As opposed to shit kids, being blurry. Yeah. That's what the kids don't understand. They, like, put something oh. on the window and face it out, and they're like, Look, Mom, 3D! Like, <laughs> like no, no, 3D, 3D is real life. <laughs> yeah.